From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Happy Wednesday, Happy Valley. I'm student meteorologist Laura Shedd here with your latest Penn State Campus Weather Service web forecast. Now to start, if you were awake at 7.30 this morning, much like I was, you might have caught a glimpse of the nice fiery sunrise that we actually had here, captured on our Beaver Stadium camera. It really has been encapsulating what's been going on this morning though here, especially with the clouds across the valley. We've really been stuck in a lot of overcast skies, couple of breaks here and there, but as we've made it to the end of this morning, those clouds really are starting to break up overall, leading to relatively good balance of sun and clouds here in the valley. And temperatures currently across the state, 43 in State College, only 36 in Bradford, and it's much of the same across a lot of the higher elevations, certainly a lot cooler. But as we head down to our southeast and into the metropolitan areas, we're already up to 52 in Philadelphia, 50 in Allentown. However, it probably isn't feeling like that outside, and a lot of that is influenced by the winds. There's a really strong wind flow coming out of our northwest, which again, if you remember those higher elevations up along here, it is certainly feeling colder, so that cold air is being pulled in across the states. Um, 12 miles an hour in State College, but as we head down into the southeast, those winds really are getting relatively strong um, for this time of day. 20 in Philadelphia, 20 in Allentown, and it really is being exemplified across those feels like temperatures, feeling like only 36 in State College, 28 in Bradford. So really, as you're heading out the day today, it might be in the 40s, but it is certainly not feeling like that outside. Current satellite does also show the influence of that winds on our clouds we've been having today. A lot of those clouds have been moving in from New York, coming in off the lakes. What has been making it kind of cool though is, as you can kind of tell on here, these clouds have a nice little wave line type of pattern going on and a lot of that is being influenced by the mountain ridges as these clouds go up and down over the mountains across the central part of the state. It's kind of creating some highs and lows within the clouds, giving a nice pattern, but it's also been giving us those breaks in the clouds that we have been wanting in order for it to start feeling at least a little bit warmer outside. As we zoom out um, to the rest of the country though, there's two big things of notes um, across this. First off, we've got a nice weather system that's been going on across New England. It has moved out of southern New England, which brought some pretty good storms across Massachusetts and Rhode Island yesterday, bringing some nice heavy snow showers across Maine and into Canada. The other thing of note, though, too, of course, is this system here across the plains. This is going to be moving into our region starting this weekend. So unfortunately, if you have plans of going to the football game, I've got some bad news for you, but we'll get to that one in just a moment. So just as a recap for today here in State College, 47 degrees, however, it is really not going to be feeling like that. So we're going to be expecting that northwest wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. So really grab those coats as you head out the door for the rest of your day because it is certainly going to be feeling relatively brisk and cool outside today. Overnight tonight, lows generally around 30 to 2 degrees, around freezing, possibly a few spots of frost or freeze, especially amongst the higher elevations. Those winds, though, will start to die down a little bit, but it is still going to be feeling relatively chilly for late October. And again, as I mentioned, fortunately, I've got some bad news for this weekend. We'll start on Thursday, though. Relatively still clear as an area of high pressure will be in our, across our region, but this high will start moving out late Thursday, allowing clouds to start moving back in for Friday. By the time you're heading out um, from your classes from work on Friday, rain will start to move in across the state. Different forecast models are still disagreeing on the exact timing of the actual precipitation itself. This one is a little bit faster than some of the other ones, so we could still be not necessarily in the rain, especially here across central Pennsylvania by dinner time on Friday, but um, time will only tell. So really timing on this is pretty um, unknown still for this time, but still by late Friday, those rain showers are going to start to move in. And the one thing we can tell you for certain though, is that by kickoff on Saturday, which is at 3.30 versus Iowa, it is going to be cold and rainy here in Happy Valley. Only 42 degrees on this model in State College, but there is really widespread rain across much of the state, unfortunately. The good news, though, is that this rain will start to slowly work its way out for Sunday. A couple of scattered showers still possible, but as we head into late, late Sunday and early Monday morning, those showers really do start to clear out. A couple of breaks, especially across the east, but overall, it's in for a rainy and cold weekend. Now to summarize this all up on your seven day forecast again, Wednesday and Thursday, mostly sunny skies overall, pretty cool for this time of year, but those clouds are gonna start increasing on Friday 
and ahead of this next system that will bring a cold and rainy Saturday for here in Happy Valley. Some leftover showers on Sunday could carry on into Monday as well, but by the time we hit Tuesday, we're going to be staying relatively cool, but we will also start drying out.